Hi there, I'm Rachel and thank you for clicking on the link to my latest vlog. This time I am back in the glorious county of Derbyshire exploring the Dark Peaks and I will be covering Higger Tor, Padley Gorge, Over Owler Tor and the surrounding area. A real mixed bag of terrain from woodland to a rather deep gorge and across heathland and the moors. My first time here, thanks for joining me, I hope you enjoy it. So let's get on with the video and it's time to rock up and ramble. I've lost count how many times I've been on walks in the Peak District and um, yeah, it just makes me realise how much I still have yet to see and every time I go somewhere new in the Peaks, it just blows my mind. It's so breathtakingly beautiful. And on this walk, literally out the car and the views are there to enjoy. The heads are starting to look a little bit more brown now. Maybe a few weeks ago it might have had a bit more of a purple tinge to it, but that's okay. It's sort of heading into autumn time now. But in saying that, I think it's going to be quite warm today, but not as hot as some of my previous walks when it was really cooking. But yeah. Oh, it's going to be a good one. I can feel it in me bones. The toilets and the cafe are on this route, thankfully, and it's well signposted from the road, so you can't miss it. I am really tempted to have a hot drink right now. Ooh, yeah. Should we go for a tea or a coffee? What's your preference? I'm more of a tea in the morning and then coffee throughout the day kind of person. I think I might be tempted to go for a tea. It's only 11 o'clock. National Trust Cafe. And I've let the team down today because I forgot to bring my my mug with me so I've had to go with disposable Ooh, not my best choice I think the reason why I didn't bring my mug is because it's got to that point now where the tea or the coffee or whatever you put inside it tastes a bit funny so I probably need to invest in a new thermal mug if you've got any recommendations let me know but standard National Trust Cafe never lets you down right into the long shore estate and then down into Padley Gorge, which I think will be roughly my halfway point. Thank you. 
ascended and then came back up out of Padley Gorge. And it's a beautiful place to explore, even if you don't want to do the walk that I'm doing today because it's too long or what have you. You could always park at Grindleford train station and then just walk up the gorge all the way up to the top where the ice cream van is and then back down again on the other side. It's a little bit scrambly in places and very uneven underfoot so do be careful of those tree roots and rocks but it's really rewarding when you go through Padley Gorge. <laughs> yeah so now I'm heading up to Owl Tor back onto Heathland. very very quiet but check out these rock formations they're really cool I'll show you over our tour shortly that's just behind me um, yeah quite a lot of millstones actually on this little trek up from the road so peaceful I can see even more just over there I was only there a few weeks ago when I was doing my hill and moorland walk leader course that's a nice area for a walk too. doesn't do it justice but that in front of me is a decent amount of elevation and very scrambly there are easy footpaths but you know me stay true to the trail and all that oh gosh I might be huffing and puffing by the time I get up here I'll see you at the top I am almost at the top of the Higgins Hall and that's what I've just walked up a bit scrambly in places I have to use my hands and I uh, zigzagged a little bit along this footpath. Oh, we're gonna zoom in. And that is right over there in distance, over Owl Tor that I come from. There are easier ways up to Higger Tor. So if I take a group up here, I probably wouldn't use that path, especially if they've got dogs or sort of novice walkers. But that's all good. That looks quite interesting over there. That little rock formation i might leave that for another day right highest point is over there so let's go and check it out Tour, and that is Wynne Hill and further beyond is the ever imposing Kinder Scout. Hey, 
peaks. That's me done and dusted for another day in the peaks. Back at the car and I've clocked up 14 kilometers on my Strava. If you've liked my walk, please think about giving it a big thumbs up below. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, leave your comments below and I will do my very best to get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching. Your support is always, always appreciated. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on another vlog very soon. Don't forget, rock up and ramble. Yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs>